Oop, did it again. All right, um, and we are back. Uh, I just came in from a night of monster hunting, and we can take a look at our stats here. So essentially everything is maxed out, just a little more vitality to work on. And if we look at our spell skills, Dazzle, Flame, and Force are all maxed out, and Zap is almost there. I will probably not bother to do any more on that, but we'll see. Uh, poet has personally asked you to be present if he wishes to speak with you. Sure, you can come and visit the Poet today. It's rumored you're going to go to his vizier, talk to my cousin Sharaf. Okay. Um, I did accidentally... Uh, planning to come back before dawn, uh, but I was a little late, so the sun had already risen, and when I came back, the guard informed me that a caravan would be leaving for Razir in about six days, so we know that there's now a countdown for we have six days left until it's time to leave the city, travel on to Razir. Radish is not here. He must be seen with assault. Talk about more elementals coming soon. That sounds fancy. I'm just going to do a round of dodging quickly just to work on the vitality. I like to stop in on the Adventure Guild at least once a day. Um, and since everything is pretty well maxed out and we're not really going to be doing much more legitimate training, um, pretty much just going to sleep through the days until new elementals pop up and then we will deal with them as they come. And uh, I think after this next elemental, um, I'm going to finally go and tackle Wit. Uh, let's go into evening. <clears throat> Sit and listen to Omar. Yes. And the hero, simple prize for the deed of air. And he gives us cash. Hey, all right. And we're going to skip through this poem. You can watch the thief video if you want to hear what he says. Or I guess pause it on each one. I'll wait long enough so you can have time to pause it. Let's order some food. Source stuff with... Okay, whatever. Eat. Drink. And now we shall go to bed. And when we awake... Who knows what will await us? Oh no, another elemental, elemental of earth. And that's it. There's no deadly elemental will stop us from having breakfast. I hope it is pancakes. Alright. So, first elemental was here at the North Plaza. Or what, west, uh, south plaza rather. We dealt with the air out west, and now we come out to the fighters plaza to deal with the next elemental. Uh, so we can talk to. Let's see, Shabir again. No one else in the city can handle such a magical being. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Rakish fought with the elemental, but couldn't finish the deed as his leg, his poor injured demon leg. Yes, sword burned brightly. Yes, we have to understand its nature, so we can ask people about the Earth Elemental, Aziza, and uh, Harik the Apothecary. And they will tell us that flame is the enemy of Earth. Now we will wander the halls until... A rumbling! I don't really need to save it, it's fine. We'll engage. And, well, if the elemental is weak to fire, then let's use flame, which took care of it quite quickly. But it's not yet defeated or retreated. So let's take care of this here. Yeah, there we go. But we also have been told that the 
Kata people use cloth bags to carry earth throughout the city, so we will do the same. Oops. Pick up. Use bag. Use cloth bag. Hmm. I bet I still have sand in it, don't I? Drop sand. get a bag first. Which I think might be right here. Yes. So a huge chase. Oh, okay. Uh, haggle cloth bag. Alright. Now we have a new cloth bag and we will attempt to defeat the elemental again. And... Flame. Pew. Pick up Earth. Earth. Elemental away in the bag. All right. Another elemental defeated. We are true heroes. Let's see if they have anything to say about it. Nope. They just moved on. Alrighty. Well, that's. What do I want to do now? Do I want to go right to Wit? I suppose we could. Um, okay, so let's go here. So if you do not know where you're going, you can use Detect, which I think we did earlier. Or you can just the map. Good. Just detect. And detect wants us to go this way. Door appears. Cast. Open. Hey, look at that. Entered a very strange place. The path you walk upon seems to be carved from ivory. The walls around you seem carved of marble. Between the walls and the path is a gap through which you view total darkness. When you look down, uh, total darkness when you look down. When you look up, you see the same limitless black. Uh, you have a funny feeling you aren't in Shapir anymore. You have been walking through halls hung with portraits of many wizards. At last, you come to some pictures that you recognize. Here are several voices. Who are you that enters the lofty portals of the Wizards Institute of Technology? Your name is Dark Wolf. Why have you sought to enter into the Wizards Institute of Technology? I want to be a wizard. Who do you call upon to be your sponsor and mentor in these hallowed halls of the Wizards Institute of Technology? Now, uh, we can actually say a number of names here. Uh, so let's try them out just for fun. Uh, let's say Aziza. Aziza and Francis Shapir, Wizard of Water. Do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate into the Wizards Institute of Technology? Uh, Cannot pass judgment upon the candidate until I have worked with him for some months. I am unwilling to have someone I do not know well as my initiate. Oh well, we must choose another sponsor. Well, we see this guy right here, whose name we don't know in game yet, but he is Adabis. Adabis, Wizard of the Southern Sands, Enchanter of the Elements. Do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate at the Wizards Institute of Technosery? Your man's voice, deep and sonorous. So, a want-to-be wizard seeks me for a master. I'm not interested in half-trained novices. However, should you actually become a wizard, you might be of use to me. There is much I can teach you. Until that time, find someone else to paper-train you. Let's choose another sponsor. How about... 
Rana. To our regret, she has not answered our summons for many years. You must choose another sponsor. Uh, I'm not certain if this one will work, but let's try Katrina. That is not an appropriate sponsor. Okay. Um, let's ask about Merlin. Trice Magister Merlin Ambrosius, Wizard of the Isle of Gramari. Uh, do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate into the Wizard Institute of Technosri? Have we met before? No, I don't believe so. Sorry. All right, and uh, let's see if I can spell this right. I think this works. Houdini, Prestiginator, Paramount of Faraway Lands, Master of Escape. Do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate into the Wizard Institute of Technosri? You're a man's distant voice, apparently under great stress. Hmm, for I'm a bit tired of her at the moment. Or uh, the name escapes me now. You really must shoot at me. Uh, I must choose another sponsor. Uh, I think we can say keep on. Nope. Um. Okay. So there might be others, but those are the other ones I know of. So let's try. Look at poor tree. Oh, Zara, that's right. That's what I meant to do. Zara Shashina, wizard of the Eastern Woods, emissary of the fairy folk. Do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate? Outside of the few spells I gave him, I have no knowledge of his skills or abilities. I will not expect accept responsibility for him. Um, I've never tried this one before. Baba Yaga. Nope. Okay. So, who do we actually know well who likes to take a chances? Erasmus. That's not Erasmus. Moment of silence. Do you actually request such a whimsical wizard to be your sponsor? It was the choice he made. But you know what Erasmus is like. Do we have to endure his sense of levity? It was the initiate's decision. Let him abide with it. Very well. Magister Erasmus of Zauber. Zauberberg, Archmage Extraordinaire. Do you accept Dark Wolf to be your initiate into the Wizard's Institute of Technosery? Hear the familiar voice of Erasmus. Let me see, Dark Wolf. Ah, oh, yes, the young hero who is so bright. Aw, oh, that's nice. Hear the squeaky voice of Fenris. Do you think anyone who laughs at one of your jokes to be intelligent? A good sense of humor is an excellent indicator of superior intellect. Yes, but the keyword is good. <laughs> Erasmus, do you or do you not accept Dark Wolf? I, Magister Erasmus of Zauberberg, Zauberberg, do hereby accept Dark Wolf as my initiate for wit. Wizards Institute of Technosri. Of course. Now, here at Spielberg, before you can be initiated into wit, Wizard Institute, Wizard Institute of Technosri, you must first prove you are magically and mentally worthy. You will be presented with a choice of three objects using the spells of your command. You must choose the correct object, move it to the stand, and cause it to ring using only three spells. Choice of the first two spells should be self-evident, and the third is also Erasmus. Oh, all right. Well, good luck, young hero. And remember the joke about the man who grew more mellow as he grew balder. He no longer had harebrained schemes? No, no, no. He had such a hair-triggered temper. Oh. oh, they're very upset with Erasmus for saying that. I wonder why. Very well then, young hero. Please step into the dark room. Purely a formality. Don't worry about a thing. Ouch, my nose. And we enter the room, and find yourself in a strange place. For some reason, you cannot move your legs, although you see nothing constraining them. A strange feeling passes through you, as though someone were examining you closely. Alright, so we need to decide which of the three objects to pick, and we will, of course, use detect magic. Alright, now we want to move it, which, really, this is not normally what this spell does, so I always consider this to be a little bit uh, interesting, but cast fetch. And then, as Erasmus told us the hair-triggered joke, we now cast trigger. Hey! Erasmus, Fenris! Very good, Dark Wolf. You have shown yourself very capable in figuring out the spells needed for the pretest. However, before you can be considered a true wizard, you must pass the trial of initiation, which the Wizards of Wit will give you. I warn you, this test will take all of your wits and magical skills in order to succeed. If you succeed, you will then face... <sighs> but I can say no more. Say no more. So, hero, good luck. Promises, promises. You said you would say no more. 
Haha, <laughs> oh, famous. Good luck, Dark Wolf. Alright. You have shown yourself to be resourceful in your use of spells under simple conditions. Being a wizard, you must prove that you are capable of using magic under time-critical and life-threatening conditions. You will be uh, presented with a series of four tests. They will require all your intelligence and magic. Should you fail, your very life may be endangered. Uh, will you accept the challenge and walk the path of wizardry? Yes, I will. And I remember most of this, but there are actually some pieces that I don't fully remember, so it'll be mildly interesting. Find yourself walking on a narrow pathway leading to the edge of infinity. You hear only your own footsteps. The air wizard. You must now stand into the wind. So, um, how can we deal with this? We have this rotating, almost blade in front of us. Let's see if we can move it. Uh-oh. Let's get out of the way. And I may have needed to turn the speed down a little. Oop. Oh, I wasn't holding up. That's annoying. You'll certainly have to be more clever and more skilled if you hope to be initiated. Perhaps you should practice your spells more. Well, forget you guys. Let me slow this down now. Uh... slower. Walk the path of wizardry. Stand into the wind. Okay. And let's try this again. Okay. Trial one. Earth wizard. You must now face raging earth and stone. Okay, so I believe... I don't think we just climb. I think we... Okay. Let's calm. Now I think we can climb over it. Hey, look at us heroes. And... I need to cast trigger or calm again. Water wizard, you must now overcome the subtle strengths of water and ice. Uh, let's see. You seem to have melted the hoarfrost. Now you can see the iceberg is fractured. We should take a step forward so we don't get washed away. Seem to just be melting some of the massive iceberg. Well, if we're just melting it, then maybe we will try something slightly different with this fracture. And how about one more? Okay. Fire, you must now withstand the fury of my flames. Okay. Yes. Open. With the door open, the fire's heat is more intense. Let's Calm that down. And now the flames have died down, only reveal a hole burned into the pathway. So let's find something we can walk over. Say, can you figure this out or are you just playing it by ear? And one more step. Alright. You did it, you're at wit's end. Uh, you thought for a moment you saw a deadly fragmentation bug, but then realized that it's actually the harmless southern variety. You squash it under your boot, and it vanishes. Okay. Uh, you've proven yourself worthy of the Wizards and Tech Nursery and Erasmus's faith. Congratulations. You are now a wizard initiate. Now you have outgrown the childish hero business. You can devote yourself to years of metaphysical musings and esoteric exercises designed to invigorate your intellect and to manipulate your mental and magical muscles. You have passed this day from the lesser mortal plane into the realm of wizards. You are now qualified to begin your postgraduate magical training. In 15 or 20 years, you will be ready to return to the world of mere men. Till that time, you will bask in the sunshine and security of academia, knowing you shall receive the best of all possible educations. Ahead of you are the wonders of wizardry. Behind you are all the petty problems inherent in the mundane land. You have passed beyond those weaklings who depend on your skills 
and dared to call you friend. You will now learn the real magic of the Wizards Institute of Technosery. Knowledge gained through careful study. Uh, walk away from the world of those fools who claim they need you. You are more than just a hero now. You are a scholar. You have only to take the oath that you will ignore and forget about those who said they needed you in the land of Shapir and devote yourself to the improvement of your mind and magic. Will you take the oath? So, certainly you could say yes here, and then you would lose the game. Alternatively, we will say no. Well, it's obvious you think being a hero is more important than being a scholar. Perhaps someday, when you have maturity a bit, you will comprehend the enormity of the education you have ignored. The Wizards Institute of Technosery is for real wizards rather than the real world. Congratulations, Wizard Dark Wolf. You have shown exceptional intelligence by refusing to take their silly oath. After all, what good is magic or knowledge unless you use it? My graduation present for you is the Reversal spell. You may call the kobold's use of it against you in Spielberg. Cast Reversal and magical attacks directed at you will rebound to their caster. But take care, it will not help against the indirect effects of other spells. Feel the thrill of knowledge. Now you know how to cast the spell of Reversal. Yay! You should now return to Shapir. They really need a wizard hero like you there. And remember, those who can, do. Those that can't, tell others what to do. Fenris, when is a rat not a rat? When it turns into its rat hole? No, when it's eradicated. What did the rat say as he fell 12,000 feet straight down? It's a long way to tip a ratty, or maybe cheese it, I swiss I hadn't gone this way. Oh, all right, what did the rat say? I'm not sure either, but I know of a way to find out. Do you care to volunteer? I guess I blew it. I'd cheddar be good up for a while, right? Right, at any rate, wizard hero, good luck and farewell. So that's the only part of the game, for the most part, that I'll do, um, actually reading the whole thing out. Oh, I forgot that we trained. Um, mid-morning on day 12, so I'm going to pop in on the other. It's good to know that such heroes as yourself around. I'm not a birth, but of course the city, wonderful. And we'll come over here. Let's drink the water skin and just for my own amusement I'm going to go see Harik and sell our claws and tails and then we'll go to bed for the day so tail oh oh well how about claws oh well I guess we'll just have to make it with our almost 15,000 dinars. Um, okay, we're going to go to bed for the day, and tomorrow we will see what use we have for this Krith Elemental that we've collected. Uh, just in case. Sit. Okay. Sleep until dawn. Oh, thanks. First, most fearsome, yes. You are so very lucky to have our amazing self. Here and finally, we will check in at the guild. Hey, how are you? Earth will be plenty enough, but you would be tougher. This note was left here for you. Read the crumpled paper with nearly illegible scrawl. If you know what's good for you, then you will obey orders. We will leave them here. If you don't follow them, you'll be sorry. We are watching you. Interesting. I didn't think that we would get that. Hmm. Uh, that is something that I believe is only supposed to go to the fighter. Um, so I'm wondering if it's some kind of little glitch. If you've noticed, our character portrait is that of the fighter, uh, which it shouldn't be. 
because we were imported as a magic user, but um, I don't know. Either way, I don't intend to do the EOF um, if it is offered as an option here. I will save that for the fighter storyline or videos. Um, okay, so I don't think we actually need to talk to Aziza. We actually might have to, so I can be reminded of how to do this, but let's go and get the two items that we need for the Dispel Potion. Right up here. That's a little close, but maybe I'll let this go. Yeah, I thought so. Take feather. Find a large feather nest and put it away. Alright. Step one complete. And now we'll continue on till we find Julianar. Okay, dismount. Um, use earth. Let's give earth. Okay. Earth metal seems to sparkle a bit in the light as it settles down into the soil around the plant. Um, tell about earth elemental. Okay. Even though you're scared, you still fought the monster. She believes that we care. Um, give water. Water as you pour into the ground, quickly sinks in the soil and vanishes. Tell about yourself. About yourself and your adventures. The dryad and the spores. Simple app might ease her thirst. And then, the gift of love. Hug. Tree. Tell about yourself. Tell about Julianar. All right, and we got the fruit of compassion. Wonderful. Let's ride. Go home. Do you smell? Oh, thank you. Let's go see Harik. the feather. Take me only a second. There. Do for you should. I do for you what I would not do for another. This is a gift for all you've done for the city. Oh, thanks. You have three potions for what you gave me. To my knowledge, we only need two of them. I mean, really, we only need one. Um, so if we don't have one, I think they'll have it anyway at the end game, but Okay, um, I'm going to come back here, and I think I'm actually just going to save there, and uh, we will call that a video. Nothing would have changed on me. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, we will come back soon. Bye.